two, one, and lift off. You know, I don't, I don't, lo I don't love my answer on this one. <laughs> Either do I. Um, what a coincidence. I don't love your answer. I'm going to say Boston would be tougher. I know people gave this guy a lot of guff when Boston got down early against Chicago. Brad Stevens, number three, the head coach. People like, I think, fight back against the boy genius kind of thing. He's a really good coach. I agree. Okay? So that's legit. Number two, Isaiah Thomas is the kind of guy who can just go off. Now, I don't think he can go off all the time, but I think he can steal a couple games in a series by himself. And number one, I just think they're a little bit, like, scrappy. It's kind of a bad list. Go. Oh, it is a bad <laughs> list. At least you didn't use gutsy. <laughs> Listen, I say it's Washington because I think any team that's going to really push this Cavaliers team has got to be able to score with them. Boston cannot score with them. Washington can. Two, they don't know enough to be intimidated by the Cavs. I think the last time that the Cavs walked into Boston and did what they did to them late in the season, I think that set the tone for what's going to happen if those two teams meet in the Eastern Conference Finals. And to me, the Wiz's uh, backcourt is fabulous. And those yeah. guys are terrific. They can't be guarded. Great shooter, get great penetrator. They could cause some issues. Not that I think the Cavs will lose to them. And I think we've seen uh, Boston has done things all year that don't make sense. They're not talented enough to be the number one seed. You thought they were dead against Chicago, then they won four straight. Like, I think there are just maybe inexplicable things that you would look at this and say, of course the Cavs should beat Boston. And then all of a sudden it'd be a tight series and you'd wonder, how did that happen? It won't be a tight series.